हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आशीष एंड वेलकम टू माई क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सोशल एंड पॉलिटिकल लाइफ दैट टॉक अबाउट द इक्वालिटी द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज ऑन इक्वालिटी सो लेट्स बिगिन इट एज वी स्टडीड इन लास्ट ईयर दैट देयर आर थ्री कीज ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट द फर्स्ट इज people's participation second is conflict resolution and the third is equality so what would we focus on today is equality okay equal equality is a condition in which satisfactory open doors are given to all okay the next point is equal right to vote we will understand it by the example of kanta kanta who is standing in the line to cast her vote there are various people standing in line with her we can see here kanta recognizes her employers ashok jain and chote lal are also in the same line kanta is excited to vote and happy that she is equal to all of the others because of them has one vote okay so in a democratic country like india all adults respective their religion their education caste or rich or poor are allowed to vote this is called universal adult franchise this idea of universal adult franchise is based on the idea of equality but apart from this what is it that makes kanta unsure here we'll see that kanta lives in a slum and has a drain behind her house her daughter is sick but she can not take the day off from the work because she needs to borrow money from her employers to take her child to the doctor and finally when she come back she ends her day by an again standing in a long line this is in front of the government hospitals so we can understand the lots of private players in health sectors but poor are left with no other choice than to visit to government hospitals which have inadequate capacity to cater to requirements of patients so we get to know that the poverty is one of the main basis of inequality in india apart from poverty people in india experience inequality in different ways the next one is caste caste is one of the more common forms of inequality in india we will understand by the example of om prakash valmiki om prakash valmiki who is a famous dalit writer he wrote a book named jutan he tells that once he was punished to sweep whole school just because he was dalit this ended with only when his father came to school okay and as dalit 
we recognize it as lower caste and this is a still phase discrimination of various phase and the second example of mr and mrs ansari who were searching for rented house but no one agrees because of their caste okay the next point is recognizing dignity here we saw the second example of mr and mrs ansari whose dignity of persons are treated unequally so when persons are treated unequally their dignity is violated okay now we'll discuss about the equality in indian democracy the indian constitution recognizes every person as equal this is described in the constitution of india between the article 14 to 18 okay now there are several laws to see that people are treated with dignity and as equals and are certain provision provided in the constitution for the recognition of equality the first is every person is equal before the law this is described in the article 14 of the constitution of india okay which means that the state shall not deny to any person equality before the law or the equal protection of the laws within the territory of india okay the second one is no person can be discriminated against on the basis of their religion race caste place of birth or whether they are female or male this is under the article 15 the next one is every person has access to all public place including playground hotels shops and markets this is described in the article 17 which says abolition of untouchability okay the two ways in which the government has tried to implement the equality number 1 through laws in the constitution here is we have articles and laws streams and through government programs and schemes to help disadvantaged communities here is the example of mid day meal mid day meal program which was started by government in the schools okay let's understand this it was started by the government and this was in lieu of the government school where they try to provide cooked food to the children who are coming to school but just think why this scheme was started let's look into that 
this was started to increase the enrollment ratio in the school again there was an idea that most of the student did not turn back to school after the lunch so if you provide food to them in the school the retention for the school are would prolong and after the lunch has also you would see the students who would be there in the campus again the idea was the working mother okay the idea was the working mother have to spare the time for the lunch and then join back to work which become difficult for them sometime and because most of them are employed in a kind of daily basis job also most of the students obtaining the government schools have that the parents have cycle or a routine curriculum which is much more difficult where taking breaks is much more difficult this also intends to reduce any kind of caste prejudice and provide more employment to the people because one the cooking food in the school and the other kind of work okay the next topic is issue of equality in other democracies india is the only democratic country in which there is inequality and where the struggle for equality continues to exist in many democratic countries around the world the issue of equality continues to be the key issue around which communities struggle for example in usa the african americans whose ancestors were the slave who were brought over from africa continue to describe their lives today as largely unequal this despite the fact that there was a movement in the last 1950s to push for equal rights for african americans there was a woman named rosa parks rosa parks who was african american she refused to give up her seat on purpose to white man this turned into civil rights movement and then after some time the government passed the civil right act civil right act in 1964 but did it end the inequality and what are the challenges ahead let's see A struggle for the recognition of all persons are equal and the second is struggle for their dignity to be maintained now we'll see the definition of some important keywords the first is dignity dignity refers to thing of oneself and other persons as for the of respect the second is universal adult franchise is it, it is important aspect of democratic societies it means all adult citizens have right to vote irrespective of their social and economic background the next is constitutional it is the document that lays down basic rules and regulation of government in country to follow okay so the 
first chapter has been finished i hope you understand the lesson now we'll meet in next chapter stay at home for as long as then and stay healthy thank you